Instruction, a son of the beloved. My heart is welling forth with a good matter. I say what I have composed touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Psalm 45, 1. Blessed in the Psalms. 5. A transformed instrument. In the most difficult circumstances of persecution on the Antichrist coming reign, the faithful Jewish believers will put their trust in God. They will have to flee from their country and be terribly harassed. Psalm 44, 9 to 25. Yet they anticipate their return to the promised land as the Holy Spirit engages their hearts with the Messiah in heaven. We will be there with him. Revelation 4 to 5. These devoted believers on earth will look forward to Messiah's glorious appearing. When he appears, we will be with him. Colossians 3, 4, Revelation 19, 11 to 14, 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 to 17. Despite their difficult circumstances, those faithful ones will rejoice in the Lord Jesus, for they will know him as glorified, just as we do. Hebrews 2, 9. Their hearts, fully engaged with him, will overflow with his praise. See above verse. Love for the King, the Beloved, changes everything for them, as he will transform them. Today he draws our hearts to himself as well. The Holy Spirit leads us to bring praise and glory to the Lord Jesus. Doing so makes us blessed or happy, despite adverse conditions. With the heart set right, our tongue can be used in a proper way. Some highlights of Psalm 45 are as follows. Submission to Jesus, the chief musician, Hebrews 2, 11 to 12. Freshness and purity in a response from the heart to him. A song of love in a world opposed to the beloved. Our heart and tongue freely used by the Holy Spirit, who is the ready writer. A song of praise to the beloved of whom this psalm speaks. Taught in God's school today, our tongue is used in worship. Are you a transformed instrument glorifying the Lord Jesus? Alfred E. Bauter